All right, guys, we are live, episode 179 of Shooter's Mindset. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight. co host in the house, Dustin Plouffe, joining us again. What's going on, bro? What's going on, guys? It's coming off a big win, kind of in the PCC <laughs> division. It's yeah. his first time shooting and winning something. This can't first, uh, first match running my PCC rifle, uh, just not goofing around with it or whatnot. So I had a strap on my 16-inch. Uh, uh, X product side charger on my QC 10 lower vortex optic on that bad boy and went out and shot 10 stages for 100 rounds or so at the uh, tactical shit Spartan 300. So it was a uh, part time match, steel, all steel. Uh, 300 points says you're perfect, and I got perfect. So, uh, <laughs> nice little Yeti cup that they uh, lasered engraved for everybody. So I got second place and uh, third place overall. Had uh, one or two stage wins. Um, so yeah, it was fun. Definitely got the PCC bug now. I'm addicted, so I'll be shooting, <laughs> definitely shooting some matches. So you might have even got me into the PCC world of the uh, the USPSAs. Who knows? Who knows what the future holds? Awesome. Uh, Jennifer Seymour, what's going on? Hello, everybody. Doing all right. You shot a match this weekend? What was it uh, USPSA stuff? Just club match, right? No, I didn't shoot a match this past weekend. I helped with, um, there's a ladies group here and locally that they've started kind of trying cool. to get women that don't shoot or have not shot much trying to get them into it. So anyway, I went and helped with that all day Sunday. That was fun. Awesome stuff. And the men of the hour, this is the crew involved behind the interactive pistol training system here. Um, kind of an innovative design. I haven't seen anything like this. We're going to talk about it all throughout the show today. Project marketing manager, Kevin's in the house. What's going on, buddy? Hey, Anthony. How are you guys doing today? Hey, I'm glad to be here, man. Doing well, doing well. And the inventor, Jacob's in the house. He's the, the brains behind the entire project. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm just a technology guy, so... <laughs> Excuse my <laughs> handguns, but uh, I think by now I know uh, how pistols work very well. So, uh, but Kevin, I think you should take the stage here. And if there is any questions with regards to the technology, I'll be more than happy to jump in. Awesome. Yeah, we'll get we'll jump right into it here right after we get through some show sponsors. And the show sponsors here are the folks over at Tactical Shit. Uh, shop.tacticalshit.com check out their website if you're over in St. Peter, Missouri check out their storefront um, I got an email today from them they have barbecue sauce it's called the Patriot Sauce what don't they have at Tactical Shit <laughs> 80% they have some new chest rigs they have some new AR triggers and they also have barbecue sauce and freedom what is it? Liberal Tears and Liberal Tears all the, all the uh, uh, Kind of try coffee, so you got all your, uh, your awesome flavors of that. Um, snacks, uh, I don't even know, cigars, they got everything, man. Yeah, right? <laughs> awesome stuff. We have a discount code coming for the folks over at Tactical Shit uh, here throughout the show, so stay tuned for that. Um, what else do we have going for it? Let's just kind of jump right into it here. Oh, well, no, I still got some more announcements here. I'm kind of jumping the gun here. kind of want to hurry up and talk about this. This pistol training system here, but we got a uh, question and answer Q and A stuff. Um, if you're over on the, the fa you you can go over to Facebook Shooters Mindset on Facebook. We have a link where you can watch the show. Also, we post you can post all your questions in the comment section of the post that just went up. If you want to get any questions for the guys regarding the system, also if you're watching over on the YouTube side of things, I think on the top right hand corner you can join the conversation, and I'll pull those questions throughout the show. Also. And also for all your Shooter's Mindset needs, the ShootersMindset.com, blog articles, a shop. You can watch you know, the show, obviously, there. Put up a couple of uh, what I'm going to be putting up a lot more shooting videos up on the channel now that I work at a gun store and I have some cool stuff coming in and out of there. And I, it's like I'm on the clock, so why not video a couple things? It's like now I'm not like lazy and just want to get up and video things. Now I'm actually... At work, so why don't you throw up a camera on everything and see? 
All right, so that that's what kind of gets me going on those videos. Um, but other than that, let's jump right into it, guys. Um, for those who aren't familiar with your pistol training system, can you tell us a little bit more about it and how it came about, how the company came about? Um, well, I could probably tell about the pistol training system, but as far as the company com came about, uh, Jacob was the one that kind of uh, brought me in to help you know work out work out the technology and come up with it. He's the uh, he's the brains behind the gadgets. I'm kind of the, the working on the interpreting the gadget for the community. Um, what the interactive pistol training system is, it's a it's a unique system of systems to put it the, the best way it is. You know. We were talking in the pre-show there about the CERT and some of the other pistols out there. And one of the biggest questions we get out there is, well, what's the laser in your package? Well, no, it's not, it's not a laser system. It uses um, basically a, a unique system that ties to the target frame that the, the, the system has. The pistol, which looks like one of America's most popular pistols. Wink. Um, you know, we're not saying which one because we, you know, but... Um, and then that will track your trigger movement and it'll track your movement on the target and it'll tra track and record your hits and display it on the app on your phone. So we could basically recreate, you know, like the, the, the range environment right there in your living room uh, electronically. And I'll let uh, Jacob talk more about the, you know, the, the background, and the history of it and how he came up with this and, and, and what led to the creation of it. Sure. Yeah, I uh, decided I, I decided that I'd like to try and own a pistol, and um, I took some training uh, that was about a year ago, and then I then they took me to a live range and they told me good luck, and it was a very difficult learning curve unless somebody stands be beside me to tell me what I'm doing wrong, and I know a lot of things wrong. And then I came home and I said, hey, I'm sure there's a better way, better to, to apply technology. In other words, let a computer tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. And that's when I came up with the IPDS 1700. It's basically uh, a simulated gun. It obviously, it's not shooting real bullets, but it's fully instrumented and it is interacting with an application, an app. And it it basically monitors and uh, records everything. It will record the time it takes you to swap magazines, uh, the time it takes you to draw and shoot a bullet, a virtual bullet. You can decide and say, okay, my mag load is going to be 10 shots or 15 shots or whatever. And guess what? When a mag is empty, you have to swap mags and you have to uh, rack the pistol again to get ready and shoot the next uh, the next round. Uh, you can even program misfires. I mean, you go to a range and, and a bullet misfires and you have no idea what to do. I mean, unless you uh, professional shooter, uh, it becomes a very dangerous situation. You know, you have a, a dead bullet in the chamber. What do you do? So you can even do that kind of exercise with the IPTS. Uh, the slide itself, actually, you have to rack it, and every time you shoot, the slide will move back and forth. So it simulates a gun. It's not going to be as as violent as a real 9 millimeter because you're not shooting, shooting bullets, but you're going to have a rack, uh, a slide movement to tell you that you shot. If you put your finger in the trigger guard when the pistol is not on target, it's going to basically tell you that and it's going to deduct some points from you because you're doing something you're not supposed to do. Uh, you aim the pistol in the wrong direction, not on target again. So in other words, we're using a sensor technology with uh, a computer inside the gun that interacts with the application and it gives you all the matrices. Now you can obviously record the, the session and upload it to the cloud for analytics. So you can over time see the kind of progress you, you're doing. And um, you can obviously share that with friends. And uh, also I forgot to mention that you can set up the profile of your exercise. And once you set up a profile, you can share those profiles with other people. 
you can you can change um, let's say your friend or two friends that came over and like to use the system you can change the user and he can use the gun and it's going to record his session independently of your session and then you can compare things so what you're getting with the ipts is you're getting the actual target which is constructed like a picture frame and you can change the inserts of the target so you can have different targets you can obviously get the the pistol itself you get two mags and you get the app and you're ready to go so that's from a technology point of view yeah the interesting part of the system and, and also i i honestly didn't heard nothing about it until kevin sent me a personal message and he's like, hey, working with these, check it out. And I checked out some videos or whatever. And I was like, man, that seems to be pretty awesome. Because what it does is, I mean, I've played with, I have some, I've played with a couple different systems. Not a ton of, not every one of them. I haven't tried every one. And I haven't hardcore used some of these. But it seems to be what's out there all in one package. So you take this, you take that, you put it all in one package. And now you got one system that does everything that everybody's trying to do, essentially. Yeah, that, that's that's really what we've got going. Uh, would you agree there, Jacob? Yeah. Um, you know, but there is some systems that using lasers. Uh, I think one of them is a sort. But again, it leaves the human, the human to make the judgment call here. How well, I mean, you missed the target. So now what? Why did you miss the target? You have no idea. The same thing with dry firing at home, which is, in my opinion, a risky proposition. But again, you dry fire at home, you exercise your trigger pull and all this thing. But do you know if you, you're doing better? No, you have to go to the gun range and then see if you improve. It's also, I would not do dry, dry firing at home when there's kids around, or it's quite risky. But with that system, you can dry fire, sort of dry fire, and you can do as many exercises as you want, and you will see the progress. You will see, and the system will tell you what you're doing wrong as you do it. It's interactive. It's not like after the fact. Kevin, you have anything else? No, you know, we really, uh, the, the, the big thing, you know, when you, when, you, when you press your search trigger, you get the red dot and the, and the green dot. Okay, good. Well, what does that mean? And it leaves that interpretation of what's going on up to the user. Now, what we've done is, is we've included the interpretation as part of the um, as part of the app. So it'll show you, okay, you're you're you started there, but you ended there. You know, during your trigger press. Well, guess what? You jerked the trigger. You know, that's that's the sort of uh, type of you know feedback that the pistol and the target and the app working together provide with this system. Right. So same kind of kind of provides the same feature other than there's not a laser shooting out. It's just all within an app and a computer system. So you're still going to know if you jerk the trigger, if you put too much finger in the trigger, all that, all those training and why you're not pretty much hitting the bullseye and the target's going to show you. Yep. So pretty awesome design. I mean, I, I, we have one at work. It's called, it's, it's a pretty much a Glock replica in every way. Okay. And it's the only thing with this, I mean, it, it takes a real Glock magazine. It's pretty much, and every, I mean, it doesn't look like a toy. I mean, it looks, actually looks like a real Glock. Now, the problem when I, I, and I show people demos this who've never shot before, I use that gun. Um, when I was dry firing it, I, I realized my, my trigger finger is moving too fast. It's like the trigger won't reset fast enough. At, like at, I'm pulling the trigger almost too fast, and it's not resetting. Essentially, but when when I, when I live fire the pistol, obviously it would reset. So there's a little bit of a lag with the trigger system in that particular style of training. So that's what I'm also concerned with when I when I when I hear about these pistol trainers and all this stuff. Is one is it going to be how am I going to be able to almost make it identical to my particular? Let's just use I'm a Glock guy right now, so it would be for me. It would be a Glock, right? How can I make that trainer as similar as possible to my actual pistol? Now, you can, Kevin, you could be running a four-pound trigger. I could be running a three-pound trigger, right? So it's going to yeah. be different for everybody in the Glock, essentially. But how can I make it as similar as possible? So is there adjustability? 
with this system? Well, it's, it's not going to be exactly like, you know, uh, any particular one pistol because we don't want any one particular pistol manufacturer in Smyrna, Georgia, coming after us and saying, you know, you made it too close to our, our product. Um, so there are elements like, you know, the, if you can see the, um, the, the photos we have out there, there are elements that we borrowed from other pistols to kind of make a generic pistol versus like that. So if you're looking for something, oh, look, it's a Glock 17. No, we're not, you know, that's, that, that's not what, uh, what we're aiming for. As far as the, uh, the trigger pull, our initial trigger pull is we're, like, we're aiming at a five and a half pound uh, pull. Reset, you know, we're looking to do it. We're looking to do a pretty good trigger as, as good as we can. We still need to, you know, to fiddle with some of the, the bits and pieces on it to get it to exactly where, you know, uh, it, it is where we want it to be. But, you know, that's something that's kind of up in the air as far as that. As far as the adjustability of the trigger, uh, Jacob, that's, I think that's more of, you know, down the tech uh, zip code. Is yeah. there going to be a screw? We right now decided against adjustability on the trigger to make it simpler. So, uh, but it does not mean that we cannot have a version that has a 5.5 pound and another one is a four pound. Uh, the reset will be there as well. Uh, obviously, uh, if you own more than one gun, uh, it sort of beats the purpose because if you're shooting a Glock 17 and then I have also a revolver, the trigger pull, single action, dual action, everything is totally different and I have to adjust to it anyway. So the philosophy was uh, let's keep the trigger fixed. The grip is adjustable, but take, getting off the shelf uh, grips which are Glock compatible and the sights are obviously replaceable as well. And we also have the red dot optics mounting uh, similar to the Glock. I, I know that the trigger is going to be a sensitive item, but most people own more than one gun. One is a concealed one, a small one, and one is a large one. And they all, they will behave differently from one to another. Right. Yeah, what really separates this too, and something I haven't seen within these models is, Jacob mentioned it earlier, that you can you have a pretty much you can change the adjustment in the grip so it has like all these new pistols that are coming out you can the grip panels right you can slide out in and out grips yeah. make it comfortable to your hand right but then what this one does it also has a pretty much carry optic style design where you can remove the plate off the top of the slide and you can put a, a an optic on it a red dot system which for the folks that are shooting carry optics division or some type of optic on their pistol, whether it's the tactical kind of dudes or whatever, this pistol provides that. And I haven't seen that in any other pistol before. Maybe there is one out there. I don't know. Um, but I haven't seen that. So that's real nice because it makes, it don't really make no sense to use iron sights, which are trainer pistol. If you're running a dot the entire time, right. you know, so that that's also a big plus something that I haven't seen yet. <laughs> Um, what do we have any live uh, just people saying what's up does the pistol fit holster design so holster options for the pistol um, um, What do we have as far as this goes one of America's most popular pistols? Wink there it is wink <laughs> Yeah, let's we called it the IPS 1700 for a reason <laughs> Right Perfect. So that's a lot of holsters. <laughs> uh, I mean every, every almost every holster manufacturer that I know of probably has an holster for that particular model. All right, awesome question on that. Um, also, uh, I've never owned a pistol training device. I've played with a bunch of them. Uh, and I found uh, uh, they were never, you know, they are never I identical. So, I mean, it, you know, I know a lot of guys who run airsoft guns, right? And they, they say, well, airsoft, you know, and if you go really expensive airsoft, you can have some company in, in China or overseas, kind of replicate that pistol as close as possible, whether it be an open gun or something like that. So is is there going to be any further adjustability as far as your trainer goes, other than we, we discussed the trigger, but is there, any, is there anything other? Is there sights that can be adjusted? What else is there? Uh, sights, sights can be swapped out? Yep, definitely on that. Um, you know, I've, I've trained with Airsoft too. I have a, an Airsoft uh, CZP07 um, that uh, I you know, practice with because I run a P07 and IDPA. And 
you know, airsoft works really well right up to the point where it doesn't, you know, getting an airsoft gun to, you know, perform, to shoot accurately, you know, right off the bat is a little bit of, you know, it's a, a combination of art and science. You know, you really have to go to one of the fields and have one of those wizards kind of, you know, play with it. And then all of a sudden you're looking at a $500 system, you know. Um, yeah. You know, that being said, there's a friend of mine out in Arizona, uh, Minyeki, who's, you know, he got, He's a grandmaster because of airsoft. You know, airsoft, so yep. It works. Mm -hmm. You yep. know, so we are we, we're adding in a recoil system. We just announced that this week that we've come up with a way to do a recoil, uh, replicate recoil inside uh, the gun. So it's it's an, uh, not going to use you know CO two cartridges or you know any chemical means. It's all it's going to be an all electronic way of doing it. Um, so you're going to be able to get your your sight picture disturbed, which is one of the reasons why you shoot airsoft over a, a laser you know system because you want that that feeling of having a pushback on your uh, on your hand right awesome i think the sights being that you're able to swap sights on i think is awesome in itself because so many different glock sites everybody has their favorites everybody has nobody likes the factory well i'm not gonna say nobody but no one likes those or the fixed sights on some of these kind of toyish looking replicas right right so you mm -hmm. can put on your favorite sites whether that's mine will personally turn tactical innovation and Glock sites, right? You can put those on there and you can run them like that. That's pretty awesome. Jen, do you have any experience with any trainers yourself, any type of training devices? I don't. Uh, a little bit with the Mantis X uh, is the only thing that I've really played with a little bit. Um, never really used a cert. The shooting range that I'm at has one of the big simulators, um, so that's probably the closest thing to it, but I'm very fascinated by it because especially if you can add recoil in, I can dry fire all day long, but it's, it's not replicating recoil and showing me if I'm getting follow-up shots based on that recoil or not, you know, and I'm yeah. one that most of my problem is my second shot. If you go to a USPSA match with me yeah. and you walk around while they score it, it's alpha Charlie, alpha Charlie, alpha <laughs> Delta, <laughs> alpha Charlie. And so I know that's, you know, that recoil. So that would be really neat to be able to replicate that in the den. Yeah. And then that's, you know, that's kind of been my experience with dry fire. And then it's one of the reasons, uh, you know, Jacob came up with this idea and uh, brought me and another guy on there. The other guy that's uh, not on the podcast, uh, Brian, his background is um, in the high tech industry as well. You know, working with Cisco and a bunch of other people doing their marketing on there. Um, and, that's, you know, we all kind of kind of looked at it and we said, we've all tried dry fire, but it's never really worked for us because let's face it, it's boring, you know, and there's, there's no feedback. And we tell, you know, Jacob's experience, you know, buying his first pistol is, is kind of my passion as well as getting all these people out there who have bought a gun and getting them something to do with it, you know, and getting going to a range and, you know, consistently placing, you know, 99 out of 100 shooters is, is really, gets really old after a while. Trust me, I've done it, you know. And then once I got turned on to dry fire, bam, you know, the, the light switched inside my head. And anything we can do to make that experience of shooting a gun more fun at home is going to make it more experience, fun on the range. And if, even if you don't compete, you'll be able to go to the range with your buddies and, you know, outshoot them all. I mean, how much fun is that? It's always fun to beat your friends into the ground. <laughs> yeah. Very true. <laughs> well, now, when is this? Uh, it's not currently available. As we're speaking, it's not available for purchase. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, we've got an uh, Indigo campaign that we're uh, in the middle of right now um, that is uh, raising the funds to get this sucker out and running. Um, and then we are, uh, you know, we're going to build them and send them out as part of the perks. Right on. And when, when could we, like a, a rough kind of guesstimation on when could we expect these to ship? Uh, if we uh, make our make our campaign, uh, we'll probably look at um, sometime uh, first part, you know, end of second quarter, or first quarter of uh, next year. Okay. And I have the website, if you guys are curious, on all, you know, there's videos there, there's description, there's some very detailed videos on the website i have it in if you're watching on the youtube side of things i've got the in the description box below this video i got a direct link to the website 
there you can find the campaign that they're running and, and you know obviously there's uh, donations and this this amount of donation gets you this and this gets you that so go check it out if you want to if you're curious on helping them get to their goal on that and or if you just want more information check out their website it's in the description below all right uh what does the full clip, uh, kit I I include i mean i know jacob hit on it is that it we're getting a pistol we're getting two mags we're getting a target system and the app is obviously you can download for apple and android right that's avail ready available yep right. jacob, you want to take that yeah yeah and to add to that you get the usb cable and then the usb uh, power adapter to charge the pistol uh, and the way the target works is you have like a picture frame and there is a cardboard insert that is two-sided so you can actually flip it around from one target to another we will offer other targets it's quite simple you just have to print a target and put it in there's no electronic in the insert it just, right. it just you can put a zombie if you want to as a picture Okay, so you so is it not limited? It's limited to your frame system, though, right? You can just swap Correct. in and out the target. It's it's limited to the frame, the frame system and then the register of the uh, hit locations inside the cardboard. Okay, you know, you know what I mean. So the cardboard each there's there's a way that the the pistol and the frame and the, the app work together and say, okay, here's your here's your here's your A zones, you know, here's your and one target's based on NRA B27, so here's your center mass. Right. And then the other one we kind of modified, uh, you know, some of the, the, the popular practical pistol targets to give you, you know, your close-in shots so you can for you can do your 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 precise your price precise shots or you know, do your defensive yeah. training doing your awesome. Mozambique. I mean, and we got here a couple of questions here from uh, Chris Cannon. He says, Will the slide lock back after the last round? Yes. Yeah, it stays uh, in the rack position after the last round. You have to eject and, and put a new mag, pull it back a little bit, and release. Okay, awesome. And you can purchase these picture frames with the targets in them. Can we purchase more than one? Because obviously we w people are going to work on want to work on their split times. And yes. if you got one, one target, you uh, really can't do that, right? Well, the question is, will it work? Like, will one pistol work with, with multiple targets? If you can buy multiple frames, I mean target frames, right? Because it works only with your frame. Can you buy right. multiple of those? So you, you will be able to support time. that. We will be able to support it. I, I like to also to mention that as a stretch goal, we also plan to have a 32-inch uh, TV that has the frame built in, and now you don't have to replace paper targets. You can download any target you want. And you can have some animation, the target can move a pop, and you will see the hits right on the display. That's a, a follow-up product. That stretch colt is pretty cool. It's one of the things that's really got me excited about this because now you're looking like Dustin, you're mentioning about the system that you, you, know, you use uh, uh, your range. Now you're looking at most of the benefits of one of those big projection screen systems. Um, when I was at NRA, I asked them, you know, how much do one of these cost? And they said, you know, five figures. Yeah. Well, now you're looking to do something, you know, something just like that for 1500 bucks. That's not too shabby. Yeah. Uh, to get, you know, the computer, the software, the projector, uh, you know, the pistols, the software and all that. Uh, yeah, it, it racks up pretty, pretty quick to get a whole training facility. So if uh, you could do that training facility in your living room. That's uh, for you know a quarter of the price. That's uh, that's not too shabby. Well, and you know, not just not just training facility in the living room. You think how many ranges are out there, you know, and how many how many ranges can really replicate indoor ranges can replicate a true pistol bay experience, where you're moving yeah. back and forth and going back and forth up and down the line. You know, we tell people, hey, go out and shoot a match and go prepare for this and go practice go practice your draws, and then you go into an indoor range. And what's the first thing you see? Draw. No drawing from a holster, you know, none of this, none of this. And you go to an outdoor range, you go to your local public range. What does it say? No drawing from a holster. You've got to have your targets 25 feet away from you, you know, uh, stuff like that. Well, now all of a sudden, all, any indoor range that teaches CCW, they can get all the practice, all the manipulations of your uh, pistols, 
you know, right there in a, in a broom closet. It doesn't necessarily, they don't have to, you know, pay for all the filtration and all this, that, and the other thing. They can set up a virtual, you know, bay, you know, inside a classroom. Yeah, and I know some uh, gun stores that do go. not. Yeah, I can definitely have, see that. Yeah, they do not have an actual range, so they're going to have to go to somewhere to go shoot or something like that. So doing demos or doing training, um, you know, they might have a classroom, but they don't actually don't have a range. So that I can definitely see that uh, being utilized for some basic handgun courses or safety courses and stuff like that. Yep, the ideal thing, the ideal use for this, the really that I'm saying, you know, if you teach CCW, this is just laser sighted on you, no pun intended. Um, you know, that um, the, because what's what happens when you walk into an NRA, uh, most of your CCW trainers are NRA trained, okay? What's, I, I'm an NRA instructor myself. What's the first thing that happens inside an NRA classroom? The spiel you get at the beginning of the day. Da -da -da, welcome to class. Da -da -da -da. Please make sure there is no live or dummy ammunition inside the classroom. And, you, you know, if you'd have an eight-hour class, you don't really actually pick up a pistol until seven hours, maybe, into it. So we're teaching people how to go out and carry their guns. We're teaching people how to shoot their guns. And they never actually pick up a gun until they're almost done. You know, it's, it's crazy. So something like this really brings the pistol up, you know, where it should be. It's the primary reason why we're doing this. Well, like teaching those women on Sunday, a lot of them, uh, I mean, I had one in particular that she came to me and she said, I, I don't, I don't even know what gun I have and I don't know what, you know, she didn't know what to do. She was, and she was a little skittish of it. So to, to be able to start her out with something that is a little less scary, a little less loud, and I feel completely safe putting it in her hands and helping her with side alignment without worrying about, you know, around going somewhere, yeah. that would be valuable. You know, our, our kind of go-to is that 22, right? Is the every, everybody and their brother learned with a 22. Um, there's definitely people that I've had private lessons with or have been scheduled private lessons with that I didn't even meet them initially. They were just on my calendar kind of deal. Uh, that they came in and they've never touched a gun before their whole entire life, but now they want to or somebody's making them or, or something like that. And uh, they're not, in my brain, they're not to even the 22 level yet. Right. So... I run them in my simulator mm. first, get them warmed up, get them used to holding it. That first click, just a click on a on a cert gun, they flinch. You know, so getting them over just that that they're holding something, they're shooting something, uh, get a little noise behind it, and then go downstairs and shoot twenty twos. At least they're shooting that comfortably. They have a little bit of knowledge behind it, and then obviously I don't want to get shot and stuff. So, um, you know, twenty two still hurt. <laughs> yeah, this is still, you know, the, the, I, the, all the all the stuff is is a lot of the reason why we did this. You know, I was shooting in a range, oh gosh, seven eight years ago, and I was shooting a little uh, Smith and Wesson M22 with a red dot, just having a blast because red dot 22s are right up there with bacon and crack, as far as I'm concerned. As far as you know, <laughs> they are so addictive. You know, um, and I have just a blast shooting this whole thing, and this 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 lady walks in behind me. And she's jumping and flinching at every shot because it's an indoor range, you know. And she walked over to a friend of hers who was going to teach her how to shoot. And I was listening to them. And her friend of her had like, I literally had four different snub nose 38s lined up for this person who has never shot a gun in her life. And this was going to be this lady's first shots down range was a snub nose 38. I'm like, excuse me, could I uh, maybe jump in here a little bit? You know, maybe you want to try this one first. So, you know, it's like, Here's all you need to do is put the red dot on the center target, pull the trigger. <laughs> like, oh, this is so much fun. Okay, good. Just do that. Okay, now, now go shoot these guns, which you're never going to be able to shoot straight, you know, until you're a year into it. But, you know, yeah, definitely. It's, that's the sort of thing we really, really want women to look at this uh, as, a, yeah. as a way to train at home. Sunday, whenever I had that lady, they had a 43 in front of her. And I was like, I carry a 43 and I love a 43, but I don't think I want that to be the first gun you shoot. So let's get my Glock 17 long. That's really soft shooting and let you try it first. Cause nine millimeter is what she had. So I gave her my competition gun and that's what I had her shoot at first just cause I didn't want her starting on a 43, sure. but to be able to start on something like that, that is even less would be ideal. It's getting, you know, there's that video out there of Rob Latham, you know, where he says, sights don't matter. And, you know, when you when you first watch this video, you're going, wait a minute, Rob Latham just told me not that sights don't matter. 
He's a freaking nature uh, though. So yeah, yeah. Uh, rumor has it he was born. You know, he was born with a forty-five in his hand, which I would say, ow. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> so um, he's saying no. I, I've I've trained with Rob, and Rob is first off. Have you ever sh watched Rob shot? He's one of the greatest trash doctors in the known universe. But um, when I trained with him, he had us work on trigger. That's all he did was trigger because. Getting people to overcome the NRA training, you know, pin reset, wait, uh, pin and reset thing. You know, it's just so hard to do, and that's what this system does. It really lets you learn what a good trigger press is like, without having to spend, you know, a thousand rounds in ammunition as most people do. Right on. We're going to pick up this topic here in a second. We're going to move on to discount corner. Try to save you some cash when you're out there shopping. Jennifer, we'll start off with you. What do you have? Uh, you can get some awesome shell caddies from Carbon Arms. You can get 10% off with the code TSM10 at carbonarms.us. Awesome shell caddies, or you can get an awesome chest rig like mine right here. Oh, jihad vest. <laughs> Ye old jihad vest. Anyway, check them out at carbonarms.us. Uh, Dustin, discount code, you got any? Yes, uh, so you can go to CompTech Holsters, that's C-O-M-P-T-A-C.com, and get your sweet, uh, I just took this off, <laughs> this is my concealment mag pouch that I run with my XCS, I got my XCS on right now, uh, but inside the waistband, outside the waistband, concealed and carry, competition style, CompTech's got you covered on all the good stuff, so use Dustin1 to get you 10% off on that one, then you can swing over to uh, xproducts.com and get your sweet side chargers, like this on my awesome Rise Rifle. So my little side charger here. Once you uh, use side chargers, you start reaching back here and you're like, oh, you got the thing thing back here. That's that's odd. So uh, get your uh, PCC rifle, be cool like me and shoot PCC. Uh, they have a 16 inch, they have an eight and a half inch. So that's uh, why so I got on my SBR. Um, so it's fun times there. So you can use Dustin 10 to get your 10% off on xproducts.com. Uh, hit me up for uh, any proper needs uh i will have a discount code from proper soon actually i gotta holler at those guys tomorrow uh and also for h&m black nitride because black nitride matters and uh we can get everything you have black nitride as long as you want it black so hit me up on that right on uh we got the folks over at tactical shit we talked about them at the beginning of the show shop.tacticalshit.com tsm10 save you 10 percent off anything on their website or in their retail store also, the folks over at uh, Terran Tactical Innovations, TerranTacticalInnovations.com, TSM10 for 10% off. Awesome Glocks, awesome Benelli stuff, awesome base pads, sites. They got it all. Check it out, TerranTacticalInnovations.com. Um, folks over at Dewey Rods, that's uh, DeweyRods.com, TSM15 for 15% off. Um, all your cleaning rod needs, they got it over there at Dewey Rods. Rand CLP. Uh, Rancop.com mindset 16. This is the only one that's kind of different from all of my codes. Mindset 16 saves you 15% off Rancop.com. So solvent, CLP, got all that stuff over there. Check it out. They have one, they have this cool combo pack so you get all three of them in one shot now, which is awesome. Might be bringing those to the TSM shop shortly. Um, and lastly, the folks over at UM Tactical, that's umtactical.com, TSM10 for 10% off all their AR accessories, comps, uh, universal pistol mount, et cetera, is over there. Check them out. Uh, anything from you guys kind of on the fly? Kevin, Jacob, any discount codes that you know of? Uh, no, I don't think we, uh, we set anything up for this, except that our, our early bird perk is still available, and that's the best price. What is that? Uh, the best it's three ninety nine for the system. Okay, so if they go to they go to your account, uh, the, the website, click buy, it'll pop up there. Three ninety nine mm -hmm. will get you the system off a of pre order. Mm -hmm. And if you if you're one of those slackers and you don't pre order it, what's the system going to cost you? Uh, let's see, the MSRP is five ninety nine. Our next perk upgrade, I think, is what four twenty nine, Jacob. I think so. Yeah, four twenty nine, and then it goes to. 519 or something. Yeah. There you go. So you want to save some money on this system. It's good to get in there early. Like I said, we have the website in the description below the YouTube video. 
Um, we had a couple live questions here, so we're going to hit some of these from Havoc Legion Shooting Team. He's checking in. Any chances, and, and obviously this isn't even out yet, but there's people already asking for different kind of models. Any chances of different guns that are similar to the SIG 320? That is the most requested gun that we have after the after the current model we have. Me, personally, CZ-75, but I've been overridden on that. Um, yeah, that would definitely, you know, definitely look at different companies, yeah. different models. It's funny. We, I started with the P320, and Kevin <laughs> convinced me to go the other way. I, I, I don't own any Glocks. I'm the last, you know, but, you know, you got to go with, with, with the market yeah, share. Yeah, you got to go. I agree. You have to start there, yeah. and then you kind of branch out. You get the feedback from people. Yeah. It seems like the 320 is popular, and then, then that comes out. I'm sure the 1911 – 1911. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one though. Like, okay, which 1911? Yeah, yeah. you just do like a standard. Yeah, A one or a. I mean, you can just They're go TRP have... operator. I mean, just be like real cool. So. Yeah, you can, <laughs> as as far as I'm concerned, you know, uh, there's the monolith, and then there's everything else. But that's just me. All right. Um, and Razor JB just saying, "What's up to everybody?" So, what's up, Razor? Um, what do we have here? I got a lot of questions still lined up for this one. For some reason, I need to scroll up on my notes here to get them. Um, so responsiveness, responsiveness of of this pistol. I mean, like I said, with the with the trainer, is that reset gonna? Is it if I pull the trigger too fast, is it gonna re not respond based on how fast I'm pulling the trigger? Do you guys no. have any feedback on that? Yes, it, you you're not gonna have any lag in the system. Okay. And um, the the slide, the racking when you shoot the gun, you'll be able to adjust the the distance and the speed of the recoil. So if you really want to shoot fast, you want to go let's say five bullets per second, you'll be able to do that as well. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Is the trigger tunable? Uh, is, so is it is the trigger adjustable? No. No. Yeah, but we talked a little bit about that before when you when you left on the trigger stuff. But no, it's not going to be adjustable. So I mean, you're not going to. I don't think it's going to be hard to. You know, I don't. I don't even see it happening to make something like this so adjustable to everybody's pistol. You know what I mean? Oh, right. I have a Glock, but I have a Glock, and now I need it three pounds. This one has four pounds. I need these sights on it. I need this grip panel on yeah. it. I need this. I need this stippling and magwell on it too because that's that you know. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to duplicate and make everybody happy. Yeah. Well, I'd rather it be heavier than my trigger. You yeah. know, you can you can learn to run you can learn on a heavy trigger and learn to run a light trigger fast. Right. But if you learn on a light trigger, there you go. That's why I said I'd rather it be a heavier trigger than what mine is. So. Yeah. I, there's this one guy named Jerry well, who used to revolvers. I hear he's pretty good on light triggers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, it's not just the trigger pull, which is right now 5.5 pounds. It's also the trigger travel, which is going to be very close to a Glock. May I say to me? Right. Uh, yeah. And something with the reset. Awesome. Um, the, the cool thing about the app is that it's going to be available on all the major platforms. So what is it? Apple, Android devices, Apple, all that stuff. But it's an act. It's 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 like a coach, right? So this is, exactly. I think, the whole mindset behind this was also that you can, without having someone looking over your back and telling you what you were doing wrong, you kind of have that in a digital form and in a software. Uh, so that's what, and you're getting a part timer and a trainer in this app system, in in conjunction with the pistol. So interesting to see how this all kind of works out in the end. All right. What else do we got? Any live on the Facebooks? That's on refreshing. I don't know. If... No, we're good right now. We're good on it. All right. I I'll just looked there wasn't anything. All right. My friend yeah, Chris Cannon. My friend Chris Cannon, I told him to ask questions and he asked it on YouTube for you instead of for me. So he's in trouble. <laughs> oh man, Chris Cannon. You're getting. You're trying to get. Give me more work. We always kind of want to push us to Jennifer, but we appreciate the live questions anyway. Uh, what What do you say to those folks that um, you know are going to hear the price? You know, five ninety nine or whatever it is, right? That they, they can say, well, 
why don't I just use my own pistol and get six hundred dollars worth of training? What do you say to those people? Because you could probably get two. Well, not not really, but you could play for at least for at least two class fees. That's not including ammunition and all that stuff that goes with it or travel expense. But you can technically get two classes out of that. Well, you know, I, I, as you know, Anthony, I just came back from a Masada U Mag 40, like on Monday. So, you know, training for me is, is important. But the fact of the matter is, uh, I'm, I'm, training is a passion of mine. And you go to a class, and if you walk away from a two-day class with three things that you can apply on your, in your training routine at home, you've done good. I trained with, uh, with Vogel here uh, last year, and it was a heck of a class. And you weren't there, man. You shouldn't have been there. It was a great class. I was, there, I, was there, I was there for the first one. This is the one at Altair? Yeah. I yeah. was there for the first okay. one, and then they was, brought him back for a second one. I was yeah. there for the second one, man. It, you've been to that class. It's awesome. But, you yeah, know. I, I would love to attend it again. Oh. Yeah. It, 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 he taught me a lot about running a pistol. But you do that, and you get so much crammed in there that you just, you know, taking it back. And then, and then the big thing is, yeah, okay, sure. So you go take a class, and then what do you do? Uh, how am I going to practice what I learned in class? Well, I'm going to dry fire. Well, am I going to remember everything that I learned in class perfectly? You know, my, my wife's a teacher and, you know, she tells me there's two, she teaches two lessons. There's the lesson she teaches and then there's the lesson that her students hear. And that's basically, you know, what we're trying to do. It's going to complement what you learn in class, not necessarily augment it. Yeah, or sorry, not maybe replace it, you know. And the other thing is, yeah, okay, it's 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 you know what's our, our biggest perk is like I just looked, it's five. If you're if you drag your feet, the, the it's going to be five nineteen. Um, and yeah, it's okay. It's about the same as a gun, you know. But the uh, the fact of the matter is, then you have to look at your cost and time going to the range. I mean, where I live out here in the swamps, the closest range to me is forty minutes away. No, well, actually, out there's really close, but I'm not a member. Um, you know, so it's, it's 30, 30 minutes away from me there and back. There's an hour of my time gone. There's 20 bucks in, uh, ammunition, you know, for hundred rounds of factory, 25 bucks gone. There's all the other, you know, stuff involved in that. And that can add up really quickly. If you go to the range once a month, this thing will pay for itself. Yeah. Well said. Uh, you also, is it, this is not a complete, is it, or is it not a complete, kind of trainer like do you would you still recommend taking these masada u class and these vogel classes oh, sure. and then coming back and using this system so this isn't kind of like a complete buy this and you're done no you're not still at all. Plenty of training involved. well and that's kind of one of the interesting things that we're doing about it. one of the things that we talked about when we built the interactive tr target though is we want trainers if we make this stretch goal to it, it's going to be an open architecture so we're going to say hey guys use it so if you guys want to come up with um you know, your own course, your own courses of fire to help train stuff. Like I've gone through, uh, in fact, I'm looking at a copy of Mike Seeklander's competitive shooting book over there. And if Mike wants to come up and write the cl the courses of fire for his book for this, you know, TV target thing that we've got going on, hey, cool, have fun. We'll, we'll, we'll send it out there. We don't mind that. We want it to be used and spread out. We want, it, you know, people to, to pick it up and use it in their own training classes. Um, I so, see. Yeah. You would uh, eventually like have updates or and or like a, a DLC, like a downloadable content of hey, uh, here's Costa's uh, theories of handgun whatever shenanigans uh, one <laughs> and and shenanigans of two. It's okay. I, I've taken Costa's class, so I can say shenanigans. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so I mean that would be that'd be cool. Or you know, Vogel's basic handgun or something like that. That would. Uh, um, in essence, and I know this is completely not the same, but I, I just know of it, but uh, those treadmills or the stair steppers that have the screens on them that you can hook up a GPS to them, and then you're going to run along the Appalachian Trail or whatever, you know, and you got a coach telling you, hey, you're doing good, or we're going to do this workout of, you know, some sprinter or something like that. So that would be, uh, that'd be very, very intriguing having... Okay, guys, next month uh, we're going to have Randy Rogers' uh, handgun, basic handgun course in there, and she's going to have five drills for you guys to do. It'll be available on whatever day. I think that's uh, that's definitely intriguing if that is a possibility. Yeah, I think that'll, that'll make it really exciting. Keep keep wanting keep wanting to pick it up and go, you know, keep wanting to use that with that kind of content. That'll be interesting. And obviously, since it has a USB, 
USB port behind the slide, um, not only does that charge again, but software updates are going to be constantly coming. Obviously, there's always going to be bugs of things, software updates, you get it fixed, and updates, etc. Exactly right. You know, and one of the things, okay, that's with the stretch goal. But, you know, with the current system, you know, you go to the, you, you see postal matches show up all the time, you know, where it's, and they're usually accuracy based and stuff like that. Well, now you'll be able to run postal, you know, bill drills, you know, and, and you will know if somebody's cheating or not on that because the system tracks how close the pistol is to the target. So if somebody decides to run. <laughs> oh, you know, really? Muzzle burns. Muzzle burns everywhere. <laughs> well, now that's pretty smart. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. people run these postal matches and they show groups like that that they shot at, you know, 50 yards with their pistol. Really? No. Yeah. Um, would there be yeah, uh, or could there be an online, like, scoring system, database, ticker, something like that, where you could do a, hey, we're going to do a monthly contest, guys. Here's the drill. Let's see who can do it the best um, and have yeah, like a sports center we, ticker. <laughs> we, we're definitely planning to do that as a second gen. Uh, all the data and uh, sensors are there to support that. And like uh, Kevin said, you cannot cheat because every time you shoot, it measures the distance. So it's not just a full mag, every bullet. So it not just measures the time between bullets. It also gives you the average of a magazine and also tells you the distance. So if you start at five meters and then you go to two meters, it will tell you that. So. How, how far away is it, uh, I guess, is the accuracy on it? Like how far can I shoot 100 yards with it? <laughs> uh, right now it's 30 meters, which what, 30 yards. So it's five to 30. Okay. Uh, yeah. And it is uh, not sensitive to the lighting conditions. So if you want to do low light training with uh, a tactical light uh, mounted on the gun, you can do that. Nice. Awesome. Um, there seems to be a bunch of questions from Chris now on Facebook. Um, anybody want to? It's actually that? one question that he like divided into three. Um, little messages. He said he was trying to hurry because we were talking about checking Facebook and he was trying to hit send. So he wants to know how much of the pistol telemetries work into coaching? Like, can it actually tell that you jerked the gun or just that you missed, I guess, and where the round is going? And is there a gyroscope in the gun or does it go purely off of where it was pointing? Good question. Uh, it has multiple sensors, uh, including a gyroscope and uh, so not only we'll know where the bullet hit, we're also going to know if you missed, why it missed. So it will measure the jerk, jerkiness. And we're actually using the gel for when you want to practice drawing from your holster. When the gun is pointing downwards and you pull the gun out of the holster, the time starts working, start, starts measuring the time. So if you should, if you pull the trigger when the gun is not on the target, it's going to penalize you. No. So you have, you have all this pieces working together. Yeah. So I was thinking to say, to put a message: you shot yourself in the foot. If you put pull the trigger when the <laughs> gun is still uh, forty five degrees down, you shot yourself in your foot. Nice. Man, it's like the Terminator. It's kind of like a Terminator innovative pistol. Is this design. Skynet? Yeah. It's really, really very smart uh, technology. I mean, to be able to tell like everything, basically, what you're doing. Yep. And even down to you said if your finger's in the trigger guard when yep. it so shouldn't too be. Early. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And you can program misfires. You can say, to this session, to this session I want to have four misfires, and I want to see how you handle that. And obviously, they come the four in a random fashion. But when there's a misfire, the slide stays open, and you have to uh, to recover from it. Nice, you guys. Oh, yeah. yeah, pretty impressive stuff with this. Uh, I'm I'm really digging it. Uh, any any upcoming designs, events, or uh, uh, projects, uh, events, and designs? Any any of that upcoming? Uh, you broke up there, but I'm sorry. Any, uh, what is it? What am I on? Any upcoming designs, events, or projects regarding the system? Uh, nope, just that the Indiegogo campaign is going to be closing pretty soon, so jump on board quickly. There you go. 
Any uh, last minute questions, or we're, we're almost good to wrap this one up? Jan, Dustin, any live? I think uh, good. No, I guess I got one. Uh, you might have talked about when I was uh, re my my computer decided just to restart and update all that at the same time. So good times. Uh, can you change out the sites? And we were talking about site pictures and all that. They yes. are they are compatible with one of America's most popular handguns. Yeah, so you can swap out any site you want, pretty much. Right on. Well, that, that makes it pretty easy. Um, yep, and it has and it has you can do uh, carry optics with it because it has a plate you can mount a red dot on it. Nice. We're not, we yeah. haven't done a PCC version of it yet. Sorry. No PCC, but <laughs> that'd be very cool to uh, have like. Uh, a bolt carry group that could go in there, but then still have all of this uh, interactive uh, software that would go with it. That's uh, well, that that, a yeah, that's going to take a little bit of work because there's the part of the, the system, uh, like the is is built on detecting finger on the trigger and stuff like that. So that's going to be more than just the BCG because the yeah, BCG like stuff is just a laser. Group. Yeah, we'd have to maybe even do almost like a lower. Yeah, yeah almost. that would be that'd be pretty hey, sick. That's a good idea. Yeah. A lower that's compatible, but you know, just put in the pins and bang. You're, yeah, because then you used to be running your upper. You still have the weight, so it'd be you know pretty close to what you're running. You have your optic of or irons of choice. Um, so yeah, that would be a that would definitely be intriguing as well. So we'll, we'll see. You know, we have it. That's that's like that's ahead of the time. Yeah, seventy five. Hey, yeah, you, know. you want to get the Skynet? Come on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, Awesome. I think we're going to run it down here to shout outs. Uh, what do we, we'll start off with Jen. Shout outs. What do you got? All right. Um, Lanzang Tactical, of course, for awesome rifles. Um, ZT Knives for all of your good little pocket carry. EDC Knives, Night Force Optics, Load Up Ammunition, Sharpshooters of Augusta and Shooters of Augusta, uh, Lucas Oil Outdoor Line, Proper. Hi, Lisa. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, Lisa Marie. Um, proper for awesome pants and bags and all those other goodies. Uh, carbon arms, again, for the shell caddies, chest rigs. Samson Manufacturing, Operation X, TacticalLife.net, and Star Spangled Bangers. Short and sweet. Nice. Who, I, this, is first, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. Listening half the time. Oh, that one. Oh, that last. She mentioned it last time. That's a new one. That's a new one. She's holding. There, I'm frozen. Holding things Dustin, back. You're out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I know she was say it. Um, all right. So on my side, uh, Springfield Armory, always making awesome guns there. Comtech holsters, proper uh, tactical shit. X products. The awesome Rise Armaments. Can't wait to get my new rifle there. H&M Black Nitride, because the Black Nitride matters. Spencer Race Guns, um, Rubber City Armory. I'm actually having a new titanium bolt carry group in my new gun, so it's going to be pretty awesome. Hardcore Ammunition and BBI Bullets. I get some more ammo tomorrow, so I'm stoked about that because I got a match tomorrow, and then I got a match on Friday and on the weekend maybe too. So, yay. Uh, Distant Arms for all your communist needs. Vortex Optics, always making my glass awesome. Let me see and shoot and win. Uh, edge tactical eyewear, protect my eyes. I got hit with some shrapnel. So definitely those were legit um, at the uh, the pistol match that I went to, uh, the steel match. Uh, and American Manufacturing, making things quiet and awesome. Got my 30 cal can, and I uh, can't wait to get rounds down range on that. Boom. Boom. Uh, Kevin, shout outs. What do you have? Um, well, I am not sponsored by anybody right now. So, uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, shout out, obviously, to the Interactive Pistol Training System. Any, anyway, and, uh, you know, if uh, my friend Jessica is watching there, uh, there, and, uh, you know, my 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 family for putting up with me all these years. So. <laughs> That's always a good shout out. <laughs> uh, Jacob, shout outs. What do you got? Well, nothing to add to Kevin, you know. <laughs> We're hoping to, to uh, have a successful uh, campaign in Indiegogo and, uh We'll see how it goes. Right on. Got a couple of shout outs on my end. Uh, definitely subscribe to the channel right below the YouTube video. You see a subscribe button. Every Wednesday at 9, we do a new episode of the Shooter's Mindset. I throw up some shooting videos, some review videos from time to time. 
uh, and you'll be notified when those happens if you're a subscriber. So hit that button. Uh, the folks over at Tactical Shit for always, you know, supporting not only shooting sports but the Shooters Mindset Show. We appreciate them. Uh, if you want to email me, the Shooters Mindset at gmail.com is a good way to do that. Uh, definitely thanks to Kevin and Jacob uh, for coming on, spending some time with us here, and talk about this innovative system. I'm really digging it. I'm um, looking forward to hopefully, you know, go over there and contributing and helping you guys hopefully reach your goal. Like I said, the link uh, is down in the YouTube video. We'll have it, you know, uh, we'll post it on a Shooter's Mindset, all, all social media stuff, so you guys can check it out for yourself. Um, the folks over at Gear Nation, um, what do we have? Rise Armament, of course, for some awesome triggers. I got hopefully 308 should be soon to be here, which would be excellent. Uh, looking forward to that. And Terran Tactical Innovations, man. I got a new stock. The website store is kind of uh, – there's some bugs that I'm kind of trying to figure out, uh, the internets. But I can't adjust inventory right now. So it's like if I had like a blue base pad and a pink base pad, I can't put how many pink, pink base pads I have in stock. I can't adjust it because it freezes. Weird. Uh, but whatever. We're going to try to get that worked out as fast as possible. And that's it. And the folks over at Rand COP, that'll wrap it up for my shout outs. Thank you guys for watching episode 179 of the Shooter's Mindset. We appreciate it. See you next Wednesday. And we're out of here. <laughs>